What's up, co-reporters? Welcome back to my channel. It is officially over between former Teen Mom 2 star Kaylin Lowry and her long-suffering nanny, Nanny Natalie. So we had already heard rumblings about beef going on between the two ladies a while ago when Natalie started posting some very cryptic messages to her Instagram accounts, most notably this one where she specifically calls out to the Bakery Bakery, which we all know is uh, something that Kale uses as a term in her Coffee Combos podcast intro, right? So this is a meme that she posted, which says, you're a great mom on Facebook. Too bad you're a horrible one in real life, which is a very, very serious and pointed allegation from a nanny who sees you firsthand in the role of a mother. Like I felt like that was the point of no return, but something that was really weird about that was that Kale and Natalie were still following each other after Natalie made that post on Instagram. And mind you, that post was made several weeks ago. And I had been checking periodically every time I see Natalie and one of her cryptic posts on my Instagram following stories. I take a look and see if she and Kale are still following each other. Well, now, most recently, this morning, actually, for Valentine's Day, I see that Natalie and Kaylin are no longer following each other on Instagram. But listen, don't just take my word for it, okay? Let me go ahead and show the class. Let me show my work, right? Like the math teacher always tells us to do. This is Natalie's Instagram account, Natalie with a K. Um, I guess the K goes here and it's silent. Not sure, but I digress. So she posted this story, finally got a date for Valentine's Day. It's a court date, but I still get to dress up. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, and I don't know if that involves Kale or not. So we'll just skip over that for the time being and get into the second one. Natalie really, again, pulled the gloves off here when she posted this. It says, I really am the multi-purpose friend. I'm down for brunch. Church, aggravated assault, which is a crime that Kim may or may not have been charged with in the past. Remember, she was charged with offensive touching when she put the paws on Chris Lopez because he had cut their son Lux's hair. So that is a very pointed remark there. Working out whatever, just let me know. And so in reposting this quote, Natalie added her own caption. It says, Remember that time? Yeah, you remember. Or do you need a reminder? I think this was the last straw for Kale. She said, oh, now you're putting my criminal business out on Front Street? You're done. Unfollowed. Oh my God, Natalie really who wanted it to be known that she is done with this woman. So it makes you wonder what happened. You know, for her to be like, do you remember that time? Do you remember the time we committed a crime? Like she really, really, truly went there. And um, I could see why Kale unfollowed her after this, because now you just look stupid following someone who's posting this stuff about you. First of all, though you're a terrible mom in real life, you're only a social media mom. Now this, it's a lot. Um, and so how many hours after this? So this was posted 18 hours ago. And so what is that? 10 hours later, um, or is it eight? Listen, hang on one second. 18 hours minus six, that's, no, six times two is 12. Okay, then you carry the five. Guys, can someone put me, can someone put in the, in the comment section how many hours later? Hang on, 18 minus six. My brain is thinking of too many things at once. Okay, so we're gonna figure that out together as a class. And please show your work in the comment section. So later on, Natalie posted another caption and it said, you can't threaten me with screenshots. I'll get a microphone and say it again. Listen, Ma Natalie, you don't even need to buy a microphone in this economy. I've got one right here for you. You can come on over and spill that tea on the Grace Report. Don't forget the Grace Report has lawyer friends who can look over that NDA that Kale made you sign. My, one of my lawyer friends in particular, Stephanie from Wine and Chell, she's She's got a lot to say about NDAs and the validity of them. So uh, if you want, and you guys, make sure to let her know. If you follow her on Instagram, make sure to let her know in the DMs or in the comment section. I can help hook her up with a lawyer to look over that NDA to see if it is actually um, enforceable and reasonable, okay? Um, and if it isn't, she can come on over and spill that tea on my channel because she really, truly is done with this woman. And it makes you wonder what went down to feel this, for her to feel this way and to um, say these sorts of things, right? So now I did say that I was going to prove to you that Miss Kale 
and Miss Natalie are no longer following each other, right? So here's Natalie's following 807 people. Now we're going to take our two fingers, our two index fingers, <laughs> and type in K, A, I, L. Oh, what do we have here? There is no verified Kale Lowry account. There's only Kaylin fans, Shop Kaylani Rose, and Kaylin Lowry fan page. Okay, so Natalie is not following Kale. But what about her followers? Is Kaylin following Nanny Natalie? Let's take a look. The same two index fingers are going to, once again, hover over, gently touch the keyboard letters that we're looking for, K-A-I-L. <laughs> And then Kael Stan, Kailani Rose, Kaylay, or is it Kaylee? Kaylin with two N's. Kaylin with two N's. Oh, is that really a thing to be spelling that with two N's? Okay, there you go. I guess it's like Caitlin. You know how Caitlin has Kate, then Lynn, the word with two N's? All right, so this is what we're going to do. If you're thinking maybe Kale blocked Grace, listen, yes, Kale has blocked Grace Report, but she hasn't blocked Grace Alt. And trust you, believe you me, is that what the kids say these days? Grace has many, many else. So now we're looking for Natalie with a K. Natalie underscore K. Natalie underscore. Nope. There you go. They are no longer following each other. The only Natalie that Kale and Lowry follows on Instagram is, uh, I think, a photographer of some sort, okay? Photography. There you go, you guys. They're no longer following each other. Bom, 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 bom. And I really think that that meme about, like, the crime, I'm the friend that's going to, like, help you commit a crime, is what sent Kaylin over the edge. Although, personally, I'm surprised that it wasn't this one because this one was really blatant, the whole bakery, bakery crew and whatnot. Um, so here it was last time. Last time when I looked on Natalie's page, it said, followed by Kayla Lowry. And then this time after I saw the meme she was posting today, um, I looked again and it didn't say that she was followed by Kale. And that's when I went and actually did some digging and checked manually if they follow each other. But listen, that didn't phase. Um, um, but listen, Natalie has been posting these sorts of memes for a really, really long time. So here are just a couple examples of them. Um, and I, I don't, here's the thing, you guys, I find these kinds of messages really annoying. Like, how old are we? You know what I mean? Like, it kind of feels just so dumb and lame. Like, say it with your chest or don't say it at all. Like, it just, it really does feel lame to me. Like, I, I don't like these, like, quotes that people, it's just the Khloe Kardashian stuff. Cause Khloe's like this too. She'll always post a bunch of random quotes and you're like, now nah, what, you know? So here it says, don't regret having a good heart. Good things um, come back and multiply. All right, girl. Um, what's the second one? The second one says, never push a loyal person to the point where they no longer care. All right, girl. Like, what is this stuff? This is stuff that like 12 year olds post, you know, not even just 12 year olds. This is the type of stuff I would be posting. Like when I was like, maybe somewhere between 10 and 12, you know, when we had MS, MSN, those like little chat things that you could put your status, that's what I would be posting. You know, that's like the age range I'm thinking, but Natalie, is, is she not like 50 something? She's a woman of a particular age for sure, right? And then it says, stop expecting honesty from people who lie to themselves. Natalie, what did Kaylin lie to you about, I wonder? Perhaps the responsibilities of your job? Because when you signed up, how many kids were you looking after? Hang on, let me pull up. Let me pull up the photo of killing the kids because I can't really keep up. So when she joined, Lux was already born and Creed was coming. So she was looking after four kids. And now the amount of children has pretty much doubled, you know. Uh, now is, she's got Rio. She's got Verse and Valley. By the way, I think Verse is short for Iverson because when I made that video, talking about the name of Kale's kids, I saw official government documents that said their names. So what were their names again? It was Iverson something. Uh, hang on, let me take a pause and look. Okay, so I got the, the, these are the court documents. So, all right. And it says that the name was, first of all, Rio Elijah Lowry, Valley Sinclair Lowry, Iverson Elias Lowry. So I, I don't know, maybe in time she will reveal whether or not that's a nickname. Maybe it was originally Iverson and then she changed it. I don't know, but that's what the documents say. Okay. But anyway, so Natalie went from taking care of four kids 
to seven kids, it seems like. I know there's supposed to be an au pair coming, but I haven't yet heard any news of the au pair actually being there. So far, it seems like Kill and um, Elijah are the ones take, managing all of these kids, taking care of all of these kids. And uh, some of the other kids are stepping up to help as well, namely uh, Isaac and Lincoln. They say that Lux likes helping out as well. Listen, this is what happens when you have these big ass families. You cannot take care of all these kids. So then you recruit children to help you raise children. And um, it's quite fascinating, to be honest with you. And by fascinating, I mean, it's quite, I don't know, sometimes it makes me kind of sad for the kids because I grew up with... Um, friends who were those kids, who were the older kids, you know, and I remember, I'll never forget one time we all, all went out after basketball practice to a restaurant and like that girl who's the oldest daughter of like six kids or something like that and always had to go babysit. Um, she didn't have enough money or she had to leave er Yeah, she didn't have enough money and she had to leave early to go pick up the other kids from school. That was her routine. When school ended, she was in mom mode. She had to go to her younger siblings school to go pick them up from school like she was their mom you know um and so she just started crying at the table she was so overwhelmed and it was really really sad you know and my sister was an old oldest daughter <laughs> which carries its own form of trauma i'm learning about um and so she also had to step up a lot too it just makes me sad to be honest with you guys but anyway bref that is besides the point um I feel like maybe it has to do with that. Maybe Kaylin was not willing to double na nanny Natalie's pay for d pretty much double the children. You know, you know, when you go from four to seven, that is a lot. It really is. I know that Isaac is very self-sufficient at this point, but he still is a teenager. Nonetheless, he's only 14 years old. Um, so I, I do think if that's the issue, then Natalie is well within reason to be upset about that and to expect to be paid more. But I think that going online and trashing your former employer uh, is just not the move. Especially when you spent so many years with her, right? Now you're saying she's this terrible parent, terrible person, but you were okay with her being a terrible parent so long as she was paying you? That's what I, you know what I mean? That's what I don't really get, to be honest with you. Um, but listen, Na Nanny Natalie is currently gagged by an NDA, which hopefully she will be contact us, contacting us about so that we can connect her with our lawyer friends. And um, so perhaps there is something very extreme that went down that justifies all of the shade that she has been throwing on social media. And um, she will be able to talk about it in due time. Maybe that's what she meant when she posted that initial story. Let's take a look again. Oh, no, we're not looking for you, girl. We are looking for Nanny Natalie. So da, 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 Natalie underscore A underscore K. So in Nanny Natalie's story, what did she say? She's got a court date. Is that what it's about? But listen, that's not a court date. That's a lawyer date. Like you just seek up a lawyer and you go over this NDA. Right. Or maybe Carol is taking her to court, claiming that she has already broken the NDA. We really, really don't know in this case. But I am hoping that more details start to come out because this looks like it's going to be major. So far, Kaylin hasn't discussed this in any of her podcasts. But um, listen, trust and believe she is going to start spilling that tea because Kale, one thing about her is she cannot really hold water, um, especially when she feels like she has been wronged. So I do expect for her to start talking about that eventually. And she really is affected um, by all of the gossip that goes on about her online. And she always does want to address everything, um, even if it's lying about being pregnant, but she'll she'll go out there and claim she's not, like she's gonna address it, even if it's a lie, you know what I mean? So um, keep an eye out, keep an ear out for Kale's rebuttal to all of this. I do think that this might be something. Listen, Elijah has been popping up on her Barely Famous podcast a lot recently. So perhaps they will join forces and, you know, have a conversation about the nanny leaving the house, what happened and how that shaped their household right now, how things are running currently without her presence. Because listen, um, Kale hasn't been used to being a full-blown single mom for many, many years now because she did have leave in, uh, sorry, live in help. So she has had a lot of help. So I do think that um, it's, it's got, it's got to be a really, really rough transition for her and Elijah right now with three like really, really young babies, three kids, um, two of which are under one, um, three of which, all three of which are under two years old. So, whew, 
Lord, have mercy, you know. Um, and again, th their relationship is still a very, very new relationship. Um, so this is a lot for it to take on, not only the three newborns, but all of these older children as well. God bless Elijah and Kale during this journey right now. I know it can't be easy. Uh, hopefully their au pair comes quick and in a hurry um, because I, I, I don't know how they're going to navigate this otherwise, but I digress. Guys, what do you think about this? It's officially over between Kale and Natalie. And it seems like Natalie really wants to come out with the juice on what went down there. Um, I had heard some rumblings from you guys who had like tweeted me that her son, I think Keith, had said some stuff online. So maybe if he um, hasn't signed an NDA, maybe he can be her mouthpiece. I don't know. But we're going to get to the bottom of this, okay? You guys, trust and believe. We're nosy. And we have an insatiable thirst and hunger for gossip. So we'll find it out. Anyway, you guys, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>